this is our final video on rounding. And in this video, we're going to talk about rounding numbers to the nearest thousand. All of the numbers that we're going to practice with will be four-digit numbers. That's as far as third grade goes, is four-digit numbers. So that's as far as we're actually going to take a look at. Next year, of course, in fourth grade, they'll go up to ten thousands and hundred thousands. There are some cases where we will look at four-digit numbers that will round up to the ten thousands place but we will not actually round any numbers that start off in the ten thousands. So let's review our poem that we use to help us round. Find your number, go right next door, four or less, let me rest. Five or more, add one more. So let's take a look at a few examples and then I'll give you some to try for yourself. Find your number. Let's count the places until we get to the thousands place. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. I go right next door to my neighbor, the seven. In our poem, the seven goes with five or more. Add one more. So I'm going to add one to my number, which in this case is a four. Adding one to the four, I end up with a five. Just as before, all of the digits that are behind mine are going to turn into zeros. So the 7 becomes a 0, as do the 6 and the 1. So 4,761 will round up to 5,000. Let's take a look at another example. first step is to find our number by counting the places. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. I go right next door. The one is for the first line of the poem that tells me what to do. Four or less, let me rest. So I'm going to leave the five, my number, alone. And all of the other digits become zeros. Notice that I have four digits in my original number and I also have four digits in the number that I rounded. This will be the case most of the time. But let's look at an example where that's not the case. Find your number. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. The 8 next door tells me that I need to go up by 1. Well, since my number is already a 9, when I add 1 to it, I end up with a two-digit number, 10. Then the 8, the 2, and the 4 become zeros, just as they have in our other problems. So notice here that instead of just four digits, I actually now have five because when counting by thousands, 9,000, 10,000 is next. And that's why we end up with a five-digit number rather than just a four-digit number. So again, in most cases, whenever we round, we should end up with the same number of digits as the number we started with, except in a case where the number in the front has to go up to a two-digit number. Now, I'm going to give you some problems for, that you can try on your own. Two thousand six hundred eighty-seven to the nearest thousand. You give this one a try, stop the tape, and then when you're finished, push play again and we'll check the answer. All right, let's take a look at our answer. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, right next door. Six says five or more. Add one more to my number. So it's going to round up to 3,000. Here's another one for you to try. Four thousand nine hundred thirty-seven to the nearest thousand. Stop the video, give it a try, and then push play again. 
All right, let's check your second problem. Finding the number ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, right next door, nine tells me I have to add one more to my number, and I end up with 5,000. Remember that you can go back and look at this video, rounding to the nearest tens, or rounding to the nearest hundreds. The process works exactly the same no matter what you are rounding to. You can even now look at numbers that are bigger than four digits and actually round them, even though it's not something that we've talked about in class. It is something that you'll see in the coming years. I hope these videos have been helpful.